hello everyone in this video i'm going to explain about angular 14 mfe application setup so the micro frontend application setup we are going to discuss in this video so for that i am taking simple example like uh, job ua say for example this will be having multiple modules say for example jobs profile and then settings so it will be having multiple modules so we can take this job portal application as example here so cell will be acting as main project jobs profile and settings will be acting as i mean subdomains like the other projects in the mfe application okay now we go step by step if you have any doubts you can see in this engine help so first of all we have to create the workspace for that this is the command to create the workspace so i am explaining now we can run the just in the visual studio i already so here you can see this in this folder it will be created now so ng new the application name and then create application should be false since we are creating only the workspace not the enter application just enter just using the node here node change to create the application so packages are getting installed if you see here is creating the necessary angular json and packages dot json be created now still installing packages so this is the command to create the mfe application so step by step we can see in this video till it's installing the packages so node module also we can see the node modules also being installed now still being installed it will be done now yeah so successfully initialized okay we already installed everything now so what will be the next step so we have to create one projects folder so what i am doing now just open folder so this is my folder so you can see here node modules and other steps are there already I just want one folder, one more folder, name it as projects. Okay. So close this one and new terminal. Just we go into this projects folder. the screen what will, what will be the next step you can see here first we have to create the cell project cell application with the routing and then styles as scss we just paste here ngng generate application shell routing is, it, is equal to true styles is equal to scss not css being installed if you see there cell project getting installed now meantime we can check in the angular.json file shell project being installed here right cell is being installed these are the necessary files being installed now 
so this is the main project the assets and styles and node module styles everything being installed the maximum warning and minimum error warning everything being installed here styles we have to place here successfully we have been created the self project now okay now again in the document again now i am creating the jobs project this is not required the same projects folder i am creating the jobs project now quite a uh, time taking process only so now you can see both the projects be installed now okay shell and these both the projects are being installed now we go and see in the angular.json in the bottom jobs also being installed now so shell is the default project now and here you can see here is angular 13 fine angular 13 ok so we already installed the two values just like clearing the screen then what is the next step so for the so i go with only shell and jobs now okay and then we have to generate the module module federation we have to add which means like uh, i'm segregating into separate modules now so shell will be the separate model each project will be separate separate modules here so ng add at the great angular architects model federation for the which project shell so for the cell project we are generating the model taking quite long time meantime I just explain you so here it is asking which port number you have to give for this so I give port 2 double 0 this is the default port number right sorry it should be if it's asking this to be installed let me install again now I should give Y yes being installed so it will ask for the port number now so port 2 double 0 default port number I am giving so it is being installed now it will create the web pack config.js file also that is the main thing so here it will be installed web pack config.js web pack prod config.js and then it will be updating the ts config angular json package json everything will be updated automatically i will show you what is the difference we go and see in the Here you can see port number 4200 and then public host 4200 is automatically generated. Same way 